guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a thrift haul, which I'm sure that's why you clicked the video, because you know that's when it's going to be. So I haven't done a thrift haul in a while, reason being is just because with my work schedule I haven't had the time to really dedicate to going thrifting, because I also have to be in the mood if I'm just, like a day that I'm actually like tired and not really don't have the thrifting mindset, it's a waste of time for me to even go, because I'm not going to really want to dig and search. And I'm just going to go in there and be like, mm, don't see anything and leave. But anyways, um, last week I had a day off and... I don't know, out of the blue, like, so my mom like, hey, let's do a thrifting day. So we went to legit, like, four to five different thrift stores. I didn't get as much thrift, as much as I normally get. And that's just because I was being really, really picky about what I got and making sure there were items that I know for sure that I wear, like, as soon as possible. Like, I'll actually wear them. Because sometimes I buy things that I think is really, really cool. It's a great price. I think it's awesome. But then I never really get around to wearing it. And I either A, end up redonating it, or B, like giving it to someone. So let me, let's just get started with my video. Starting off, I just want to tell you, show you a pair of shorts. I actually bought these, I actually bought these, like, I don't know, maybe a month ago. But it was like one of those thrift trips that I didn't really buy much, maybe two to three items. So I didn't do a thrift haul. But I love these shorts. I actually wore these last week when I went thrifting to buy the items that I'll show you after I show you this item. And I love them. So I'm always looking for high-waisted shorts just because they're fun. And like if you find like the older ones, like vintage ones, they just fit so much nicer and they're like a legit high waist. So I got these really cool um, high-waisted shorts. I think I would pay like no more than three bucks for them, maybe even a dollar fifty because they may have been half off that day. But what I really, really like is this the zipper detailing that goes up on the sides and it's just really cool. It makes my butt look amazing. They just fit really good. And also the inseam seems to be about maybe four inches. So it's not like super short, which is something I have a problem with because if I buy high waisted shorts from like the mall, they I can't wear them because my my cheeks will like hang out the bottom. So these are by the brand Union Bay and I'm guessing that they're old, like they've been around forever, um, just because they just seem like it. But anyways, I got those. Now on. Okay, so the first thing that I got last week was, well not the first thing, this is the first thing that I'm grabbing out of my pile. The first thing is this really cool over the shoulder bag. It's amazing. To me it reminds me of something that I would wear to a festival or just like going out to the movies and I don't want to carry too much stuff because there truly isn't, um any compartments so it's it's just something that's perfect to carry like my phone my lipstick um my cards and then that's about it but it's it's really cute and it really goes with like i don't know the festival look that i've been doing a lot lately but this one was only five bucks so i swear like legit a day before the day before i went thrifting i was looking at sarah hawkinson's thrift store haul and she said something that to me like that totally like hit close to home she's just saying that she never really goes into the the jeans section because she never really finds jeans that she likes this is true for me just because i only ever find jeans that i'm willing to cut into shorts because i don't like them like on regular so she showed a pair of massimo mom jeans and they fit her awesome it's so funny because like the next day I went thrifting and lo and behold I found a pair of Mossimo jeans. These are the skinny boyfriend fit. I got them for $6.99 and they're just a, a long boyfriend fit jean and it has little distressing. I typically don't buy jeans as I usually wear the jeans I, that I get from work. But like on days off these are so cute and I love them. They have a really nice fit to them. So I was just really excited about those. To me like boyfriend jeans are super easy to style. I typically just like to wear like a t-shirt with them and I just feel like put together and if I want to be like fancy I'll do like some necklaces or something like that. But another thing that I'm really big into buying besides like boyfriend jeans is like kimonos and like cardigans which you'll see a lot behind me because that's usually what I go for. Like I got this really cool like shawl like kimono type thing and it was only $2.99 it's one of those things that you like put like on like this and there's like no armhole so it really truly would fit like almost anyone but I just love it because it's just great for one of those basic outfit days when I again want to be fancy let's say I was wearing like black jeans and like a white t-shirt or something or like a band tee I roll this on some necklaces and I feel, feel a little bit more put together I was really excited about that and I found that in Salvation Army 
The next thing that I have is this really cool graphic shirt and it was only $3.99. It's a little big, it's a size medium large, but I I thought it was cool. It's kind of like off the so shoulder leg and kind of boxy, but if I wore it with like some high-waisted like black jeans, like like jeggings, it'd be super cute because it'll be like, an, you know, like the, the bagginess and the tightness from the bottom will kind of like even itself out. So I got that. So lately I've really been wanting to start working out. Um, not necessarily get a membership at the gym, maybe like do some working out at my, myself at home or like, you know, walking in the neighborhood, not necessarily running. Because trust me, I don't want a commitment for the, the gym because probably won't go but so I've been thinking about buying like workout clothes but workout clothes are legit expensive even if you buy like the no-name brand ones from like forever 21 they're just kind of ex expensive like their performance stuff no no so I look at the what is it the active section at the thrift store and oh, I guess what I found so I found this really cute like Nike Pro combat um, dry fit compression shirt a size small so it's like my perfect size but look how cute this is like it has the number 10 and the Nike sign and at the bottom it says dry fit and it kind of like scrunches so I guess it'll fit you nice and tight um, but yeah it's so cute I was thinking about maybe going to TJ Maxx or somewhere and see if I can find like some some Nike like workout bottoms that are reasonable and not too expensive because they only paid $5.99 for this which is a freaking steal but if I can't find bottoms I'll totally be a poser and more like some no-name brand yogurts or something but this is so cute I love it absolutely love it so cute maybe I like a weird with like my <laughs> looks like some black and white Nikes I pretend like I worked out but I really I didn't with running errands in it I don't know so I've really been into this whole festival look. So I'm usually looking for like stuff that's flowy like in terms of like skirts or like something that's drapey like kimonos or cardigans. And I also like to look for really cute like boho inspired tops. So I found this really cute um, crocheted crop top and it looks like this. This is this beautiful mint green color. So I have the brand Tommy Girl. I'm going to cut the tag thing off because it's on the outside and I don't necessarily like to show what I'm wearing but it's so cute I was thinking about wearing this like maybe a black lace bralette because I just thought that'd be kind of fun to like layer up and then like do something high-waisted maybe shorts or pants with it if you look closely it has like this cute like rose detailing in the front I don't know if you can see it on camera but it's really cute and I paid $5.99 for it which was kind of pricey to me for a top from thrift stores for the thrift store but I thought this was really really cute next thing I always look into the skirt section and last year I went crazy one particular trip because I bought a million skirts and I probably only wore one so I was more realistic this time I see three that I liked but I only bought one and it's this one like oh, it's so beautiful and flowy and it's like this really nice lightweight like chiffon material it's this beautiful floral print with a black backdrop which I think is cute I tried this on when I went thrifting last week I had on like my black and white converse and I had on, like a white crop top and it was so cute because I could wear it like high-waisted or I can wear it like on my waist but it's so pretty if you hear that noise there's like these bales right here so I don't know I'm totally I'm totally gonna wear it, pull this off and wear this to work because it's so freaking cute but I love it and here's a here's like an extra bonus it was two dollars at their store their skirts are typically one to two dollars so that's great okay so again I'm always looking in the short section just as I really like I said before I really like high-waisted shorts I've been wanting to get a pair of the high-waisted cuff shorts from American Apparel but I don't want to really pay $60 for shorts because it's not like I can wear them out wear them to work so yeah, no I so I was looking for something similar to that and I found like the perfect like dupe for it if you will and it's by Arizona Jean Company and this is how it looks and they're just beautiful they're high-waisted they're the best like height in terms of high-waisted goes it's like right a little bit above my belly button which I absolutely love only thing I don't like about these because they are vintage is that there's no stretch in them so it kind of like really flattens my behind and it's like a pancake but it doesn't even really matter because with something like this I probably throw it a crop top and throw something over it like maybe a cardigan or a 
a flannel or maybe a kimono or something like that so you wouldn't even really see it but it's really cute and it was $2.99 but blue tags were half off so I got, got it for $1.50 so that's pretty good and they're, they're just perfect I think I might wear them tomorrow once I wash them. As soon as I finish this video, oh gosh, I'm sorry. As soon as I finish this video, I'm washing this stuff because I totally want to start wearing it this week. It's been sitting here and I've been waiting to show you guys so I can wear it. Okay, so when I was in the skirt section, I came across this and I was like, this is the cutest skirt. But it wasn't a skirt. No. Are you ready? Look at this. Just take a minute to like appreciate the pattern of this. And the sequence, just take a minute and inhale it and breathe it in. Okay, so you process it, right? So remember how I said this isn't a skirt? They're like these culotte shorts. And even when you put it on, it says it's like a skirt. You can wear this on your, I can wear it on my waist. I can wear it high-waisted. This is going to be so cute. This would be something I could even dress up for like a date night. I would wear this with like maybe... A black crop top and I have these really cute like black strappy heels that I got last year from DSW and I totally do something like that and just just cute just cute just cute and it was only two dollars so yeah I got that last item I got I just love it I get really excited in these videos right so I pulled this out I seen it as soon as I seen it my mom's like oh my gosh that's so you I try it on she's like that's all you you have to get it it's this beautiful denim crop jacket it's like boxy and it has like these this bleach um, stains on it and it's by the brand Paris blues Paris blues yeah Paris blues here's the kicker though there was no price tag I don't like to buy denim jackets at the thrift store because sometimes they can be absolutely ridiculous in price like I'm not paying $20 for a thrift store jacket it's just like unheard of so I told myself, and I told my mom, if it's over twelve dollars, I'm not buying it. It's not meant for me. It was nine dollars. Well, that's what they gave. This what they sold it to me for. I'm like, oh, so I want it. I want it. I want it. It's so cute, right? I didn't want to pay too much for it because it's not something I wear like all the time, like a basic denim jacket. But sometimes I want to be funky. Like it's cute, kind of like '90s, '80s inspired. So I'm loving it. Like I don't know. I just like it. So that is it. That's my thrift haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them below. I hope this video inspired you to go thrifting and see what you can find at your local thrift stores and how you can dress them up and, I don't know, style them. So I will talk to you guys next time and happy thrifting. Bye.